Hi, my name is Ken Anderson. I am the Mayberry Guru from Eau Claire, Wisconsin. And I just thought I would uh, give you a little tour of my car today and talk a little bit about my uniform that I'm wearing. Uh, first of all, I am not trying to imitate Barney Fife. I just am a big Mayberry fan. I wrote a book about the show. And so I decided to uh, show you some of my collection. My uniform that I'm wearing is an almost exact replica of the one that was used by Barney Fife. Everything is uh, pretty much exact, except for my gun. I do have a toy cap gun in here because I go around to churches and uh, schools and different things. But my car that I'm going to talk mostly about is a 1965 Ford Galaxy 500. And again, it's almost an exact replica. I say almost because in the show that they used, uh, it was not a Galaxy. But this is the car that they, uh, just like this, that they used in the sixth season of the Andy Griffith Show when they turned to color episodes. Okay, here's the uh, emblem of the Sheriff of Mayberry. Uh, these decals were made special and they are an exact copy of the uh, emblem that was on the car on uh, Mayberry. On top of the car you see the red light and that red light and siren works. I'm going to go in the car and I'm going to activate it for you. So you can... Inside the car I turn the light on and also the siren. To activate the lights and the siren, they're on this Motorola police radio. This activates the light, and this one activates the siren. This is an actual police radio, an old Motorola. It's not hooked up right now because it's uh, kind of a dummy one, kind of like the driver of the car. I'm, one of the questions I'm always asked is uh, where did they buy the squad car in Mayberry because there was no car dealership in Mayberry. Well, as you can see, uh, they went to Mount Pilot, North Carolina. That's about 12 miles from Mayberry, the big city where all the Mayberry folks went on a Saturday night to uh, have a good time. They bought it at the Mount Pilot 4. could not buy the car in, in uh, Mayberry. They certainly could have it serviced there. And you know that whenever Andy and Barney had to have some work done on the car, they took it no place else but a Wally service station in Mayberry, operated by Wally. And uh, later it was uh, bought by Goober. And both Goober and Gomer took really good care of this car. And that's why it's uh, run so good today, 50 years later. As you know, I do carry a gun, but uh, like Barney, uh, I'm not allowed to have any uh, bullets in it. So I, I always carry this, uh, one bullet in my pocket, so I'm always prepared for any kind of action, but even though I only have just one bullet in my pocket, I do carry some other bullets that I'll show you here. Yeah, I've got extra bullets right on my doors. I have four shiny bullets that I carry with me. You notice there's no green mold on them, so I polish those all the time like Barney did. Here you're looking at one of Mayberry's most wanted men. This is Ben Sewall, one of the moonshiners that Andy and I have been after for a long time. He ran his still up at uh, Cowsill Flat up on Hash Road, and he sold his moonshine for uh, just $3. And we were able to arrest him after the Morrison sisters snitched on him because he was kind of infringing on their territory when they were making their elixir. Okay. One of the big attractions of my car is on the trunk, and this is a print called Mayberry My Hometown, which was done by Sonny Green. And it's a print of uh, Main Street of Mayberry. And you can see all the important people in Mayberry have come together at one time on Main Street. You see over here in front of the grocery stores, Aunt B and Opie and Barney and Andy. Floyd is sitting outside, is standing outside his uh, shop there. And next to him is Gomer and uh, somebody behind that newspaper. And my guess, that's probably Mr. Schwab sitting back there reading the newspaper. And we have, of course, Jimmy the Goat came into town one day to eat some dynamite. And of course, Otis is heading to the jail. Looks like he's got his bottle, so it must be Friday night. He's gonna lock himself up. And then we got the Darlings coming into town. This is a print. Uh, like I said, it's in the back of the truck, and it's uh, really a popular attraction when people come and look at the car. Yeah, one of my really things I'm proud of is my Mayberry Letterman's jacket. 
I never did earn my letter in high school. In fact, I played in a game one time where we lost 88 to nothing, and they called the game at the end of the third quarter. And this jacket was a gift from Mr. Bob DeWitt. He's the man from Illinois who I bought the car from, and he threw in as a bonus as this jacket. As I can see, this is a genuine Mayberry Letterman jacket. So, uh, I wear this a lot in the cold winter days in Wisconsin when it gets down to 30 below. It feels very comfortable. Well, folks, I'm glad you were able to take a look at my Mayberry squad car. And what you're looking at right now is uh, my website, www.maybearyreflections.com. Mayberry Reflections is the name of my book that I wrote about uh, the Andy Griffiths show. And I hope you'll take time and uh, visit my website and come over and look at some pictures. I've got a lot of good information on there about Andy Griffith. So I want to wish you all a very good day. And uh, sometime when you're coming through Eau Claire, you stop by and look up Ken Anderson.